right, hey guys, finally made it to Sapporo. This is, yeah, this is, this is gonna be great. I checked into my capsule hotel last night, uh, which is actually a brand new capsule hotel. I will show you what my capsule looks like right now. So this is my capsule hotel in Sapporo. Hello everyone. So the capsule hotel is actually pretty big and comes with a light that you can switch on and switch off for sleeping. It comes with a place to plug in your phone and it also comes with an LED light, which is the first time I've actually seen something like this in a capsule. Inside the capsule stays pretty dark, so I slept pretty well. And there's a curtain behind me to get in and out of the capsule. You have a blanket and a pillow for a good night's sleep. So yeah, it's a pretty comfy place. It only cost me 4,000 yen a night, so like less than 40 US dollars a night. So definitely a steal. I'm trying not to slip on all the ice. The high today is 16 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm sorry, I'm American. I, I can't remember what that is in Celsius. I'm gonna show you guys more of these uh, snow sculptures and ice sculptures as soon as I can, but I gotta eat breakfast. So I figured I would go to a pancake place and I'll take you guys with me. Ah, on my way to the pancake place, I found the Miku tram. It's so cute. Last time I was in Hokkaido, I saw it, but I never rode it and it's only during winter, I believe. All right, I'm right outside Happy Pancake. I need something with chocolate. The banana chocolate one looks good. I don't know, let's go in and find out. I just wanna say how cute this place is. And it's not busy. In the morning, on Sunday morning of the snow festival, what? Pancake with banana and chocolate sauce. Tiramisu pancake, oh gosh, they all sounds good. But like these, look how thick they are. Thick boys. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get the pancake with banana and chocolate sauce. It comes with uh, bananas, whipped cream, chocolate sauce on these very fluffy pancakes. I'm gonna stop recording and just devour this whole thing, and I'll see you guys later. I'm very happy with what I just ate. Let's go explore Sapporo. So now I gotta figure out what I wanna go do. Um, there's so many things I wanna do, but I think before I really go look at a lot of the ice sculptures and snow sculptures, I kinda wanna get a layout um, in my head of where everything is. So I think I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center, which is on the other side of town near the station, or in the station, I believe. So we'll head up that way. Let's just go see what they have. So as I said, the high today is only 16 degrees Fahrenheit. It's actually not too bad in the sun, but if you end up getting too cold, uh, there's something you can do. One of my favorite things about Sapporo is that there are underground tunnels and shops and restaurants and stuff. So if it's raining or if it's super cold out, uh, you can actually go underground and I'll show you what I mean. We're gonna go under there now so that we can actually walk to the station. The station's actually right up ahead, but uh, we'll, we'll take the underground path to there just so I can show you guys. So here's the underground tunnel, more like a city. This place is so long, it's huge. So you can basically get where you wanna go as long as it's on this one main road. As I said, there's shops. There's restaurants down here. It's like an entire underground city under the main city, which is perfect for a place like Sapporo where it gets so cold. anything that's exclusive to Sapporo. I'm always tempted to get these little fuzzy ones. They are so cute and they would look so cute on a desk. And I, I'm a Charmander kind of person. I always start Charmander in Gen 1, so. Oh, here we go. These are exclusive to Hokkaido. Pikachu in Hokkaido. These are exclusive, see, only Hokkaido. These are exclusive too. All right, so I checked out the station area for a little bit. It's super, super crowded in there. I also want to actually go up the 
uh, Tokyo TV Tower this time. Last two times I've been to Sapporo, I didn't really go up it. And I think now that the uh, weather is so cool, there's so much snow, I think the view is going to be awesome. This up here is a ski slope maybe, or a, um, maybe a tubing slope? I don't know. We're going to go up to the tower anyway. They have skiers up at the top. If you guys are fans of Hatsune Miku or Snow Miku in general, uh, they have so many Snow Miku things. Treats, uh, candies, the notepads and the buttons are cute too. Oh, these are cute! I love little bags like this. Alright, I have my ticket. I have one for the day and one for night. I figured I should just get both. See it at night and see it during the day. by plushies of the Sapporo TV tower. He, he's kind of ugly though. This says that there's a fish market. I believe that, that is it right there. Maybe, maybe that's worth checking out later. I just want everyone to know that when I left the top observatory, way up there, I didn't know we could take the elevator down. I thought, I thought there was another way. I don't, anyway, I took the stairs all the way down from there. Now I'm down here just by stairs that are like in the open and it's honestly kind of terrifying. I'm almost there though. I'm almost to the next level. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna take a rest here for a bit. I went down so many flights of stairs my legs were like shaking. It was cold up there too. So I'm still in the Sapporo TV tower. It's kind of two observation decks. This one is free. Obviously it's not as high up as you can see, um, but I think it's definitely worth going up to the top. Really great view, especially in the snow. I'm just glad I finally got to come up here. I mean, this is my third time in Sapporo and I just never came up here. And so yeah, finally glad I did that. So here's a little bit of a better look at the Hatsune Miku stuff. Pretty sure I'm gonna get a pen. I always use them at work. I'm gonna go with the purple one. It's really cute. All right, so I am back in Sapporo's underground little tunnel thing. It's not little, it's actually quite big, but I just ate lunch, even though it's 4.30 right now. Lunch was nothing exciting. Don't worry about it. Now I'm on my way back to the hotel to uh, charge up my phone a little bit. They're uh, opening up the roads so that you can walk and get right up close to the ice sculptures. I'd be so afraid that I'd fall on one. I just left my nice cozy capsule to uh, go out in the snow. <laughs> let's, let's go, I guess. 